Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to our Let's Play of Victoria 3. And before we go into that, uh, let me know whether the speed that where we're going through these things are is fine, or whether you would like uh, it to be a little bit faster, a little bit slower. We did play through two years and two and a half years in the last episode, which I think is a good pace, but um, yeah, do let me know. So, we are trying to go for uh, unification of Germany. Our big rival is Austria, so let's see what we can do about them. I would really like to ally Russia. I don't think that's something that we can do at the moment, um, because, well, they're just not going to accept that. Uh, but, at least I think we can ally a couple of our smaller German allies, and I think that might actually use them to... Come on, diplomatic actions, um, to actually join us. We could ask Canova, no, they're not going to accept that. Uh, we could ask the Swedes, no, they're not going to accept that either. So let's see who would actually really, really dislike the UI. And I'm sorry if I'm going to go through that a lot, but I really dislike it. So let's see, is there defensive alliance? Sometimes really that. There we go. Defensive pact. So Sweden would accept, which is interesting. And I think that might be already kind of an interesting setup. So I'm gonna say. Uh, well, it's gonna cost us 150 influence. Now we are still improving relations with France. Let's stop doing that. That gives us a couple more slots here. Let's do go for defensive alliance with Sweden. And I do want to look at some of these smaller German countries here too, because it might be very useful if they joined up and actually started to become one of our... Uh, if, if they would basically join us. You know, what? let's go for Mecklenburg over here. They're going to do that too. Frankfurt would, but Frankfurt is very small. Hannover would be really nice. Lübeck, you know what? Let's let's simply go through them one by one. Um, I think this needs to update here first. Oh, influence. Why is that so weirdly updating? Proposal for alliance. Um, yes, Saxe Weimar. Sure, sure, we're going to do that. Really weird that it doesn't update like that. Oh well, we're going to be all right. And let's check who else. Baden, no, Bavaria, Frankfurt. Yeah, you know, let's go for Frankfurt. Right, so that should sell that. Uh, we are still running a deficit, but it's not too bad. Uh, we are building up our first our first motor industry. They, these guys should be starting to hire people. Um, I'm not entirely sure they're going to be running that uh, much of a profit here. Uh, because for now, we're not really buying any steam engines. But at least finally, you know, we are getting there. We are building a railway in Silesia. But I think even in Westphalia, yeah, our infrastructure usage is starting to meet its limits. So let's build another railway over here too. That should be A-OK. -okay. And you know what? Um, we're actually going to prioritize building these railways because that is going to be a little bit better. Right. I think what we should also do is build up a little bit more building capacity. And I think Westphalia is actually going to be one of the areas where we're going to be building a lot. So let's start by building these things. And actually, we're going to prioritize these even further. It will mean that we're going to be burning through our money a little bit faster. But you know what? We need to be a little bit aggressive. So that being said, uh, let's also look at the market situation a little bit because there are some things that I would like to talk about. Well, firstly, we have a deficit in clippers here. We could start to build some clippers ourselves, basically get a shipbuilding industry. Now, as Prussia, that's not a huge priority, but it is certainly something that we could do. Now, one of our areas here, I think West Prussia, has actually natural harbors, so shipyards here would be a little bit more effective. That being said, I don't think that's a big priority, so what we're going to do instead is actually look to import some clippers, and because that is, of course, something that we could do, and which should give us a little bit um, money. Right, uh, we're certainly not going to import from the Austrians, but I do not have a problem importing from the French. Or actually the Russians. That has lower productivity, but um, since we are going to try to smooth up to the Russians, I think that's a good idea. That's the one thing that I wanted to talk about here. The other thing is 
one good thing and one slightly annoying thing. So the slightly annoying thing is explosives. Explosives are currently very ex uh, expensive. We are paying for that. Uh, they're produced in chemical industry. Chemical industry is only uh, relevant in Westphalia for now. So we could increase that. But the issue is chemical industry is producing two things, fertilizer and explosives. Explosives are very expensive, plus 41%. Fertilizer, not so much, minus 31%. So we would like to build more explosives. We wouldn't like to build more fertilizer. And that's a problem. You can sometimes squ squiggle that around in some of the production methods here, but we are already doing that. We are producing less fertilizer, minus 30, uh, to produce more explosives. Great, but we can't go further than that. So if we were to build more plants, we would be sort of running even more for deficit in fertilizer that wouldn't be great, so eh, we're not going to do that. The other thing, of course, that we could be doing, and which we should be doing, is keep an eye here on the buildings and make sure that everyone is using as much fertilizer as possible. Yes, we're going to be doing that. You can see this little symbol here means that not everyone is on the same sort of thing over here. Um, and Brunswick, the state that has joined us as the last sort of thing, they're not doing that, so yeah, let's use a little bit more fertilizer to get a little bit more grain. It's going to be all right. Um, I think we would also like a little bit more sugar, so that's something that we would try to do there. The other thing is that clothing. So clothing, we don't have the same problem. You see, luxury clothing, uh, we are running a deficit of minus 26, but we're also running a large deficit for normal clothing. Issue is our clothing industry is really concentrated in, I think, Silesia. Yes, that's historically correct. But Silesia is one of the areas that has really good potential for especially coal mines. And there is a benefit to using coal mines here. So I think we're not going to be trying to build that over there. So eh, there we go. Um, let's run the game for a couple of minutes here just to see how authority and everything else is um, sort of settling down. Things do seem to be okay. Um, you know what? Let's go for road maintenance here. That should uh, increase the production rate a little bit. I think we can cancel the road maintenance in Berlin, on the other hand, in Brandenburg, rather. Tools are expensive, and Silesia is still having a bit of a problem here in terms of market access. But you know what? We can actually do the road maintenance here. That should solve the market access for now, and it's going to make the railway construction a little bit faster. But on the other hand, we are right now not using all of our production capacity. So again, back to the market we hop, uh, looking at what is being produced here, what's kind of expensive. Coal is ex incredibly expensive for now. So let's produce more coal. Um, we do have enough infrastructure for now. We are, I think, going to be building that up, so that's okay. Let's build five coal mines down here in Silesia. Coal is always going to be useful. And the more mines we build, the more um, sort of know-how is going be in the market and the better it's going to be. Right, Confederation with Anhalt. Yes, we are going to be doing that. Anhalt, where are you? Right over here. Great. What are we going to be building in Anhalt? It has a furniture manufactory going for it. So that's A-OK. -okay. I would like this day to be building more, uh, more clothing and Again, I don't want that to be a Silesia. I don't want to be the Rhineland. That's, in my mind, more heavy industry. We could go for Brandenburg, but Brandenburg is to be a little bit more the high-tech one because that's where we can really focus uh, all of the stuff here. But, yeah, there we go. Mm. Evangelical Church is actually not that relevant for us right now because we've got good laws especially the freedom of conscience one. So we don't need to be too concerned about that. One thing I think that we could do is get the armed forces to like us a little bit more. Intelligentsia wouldn't like the National Guard. But you know what? We're going to try to enact our first law here. The National Guard is going to give us a lot more conscription, and that's fine. It's going to take a while to enact that, but there we go. Okay, what else? Um, production capacity is being used. Anhalt is there. Oh, Anhalt is probably not a state, right? No, it is a state. Brunswick is a state. Okay, good. For a second, I thought these guys might be unincorporated. But the thing is, we always need to be checking back here and see whether everything has been set up correctly. And you can see, actually, not everything has been correctly set up. 
Uh, we could go for picks and shovels, but honestly, the engine here, yes, it means more tools, but also more iron. Iron is hugely useful. Um, even though tools and uh, coal is more expensive right now, I I still think this is this is the better choice. Yes, for now it would be slightly better to change that up, uh, but the moment that we're going to get these coal mines here, I think we're going to be fine. Right, there we go, and um, these coal mines are finishing up. Uh, let's cancel the road maintenance here, because otherwise we're going to forget about that. And let's check on the motor builds here. So you are running a profit for now, that's good. You are producing more than we need, but I think that's also going to go... No, it's actually going to become worse in a couple of moments. But yeah, we have the railway over there, that's good. I think more tools would be very, very useful. Yeah, that would be very useful indeed. They are pretty expensive, 33%. Coal, still a big issue, but yes, tools. Uh, let's look at tools, let's go for the industry tooling workshop. Um, we are having some in the Rhineland, you know what, that's fine. And let's actually be very aggressive about building that up, because I think that's going to become relevant over time. We're building that over here in the Rhineland. Yes, we are. We've got a lot of peasants. We don't have as many peasants as in the North Rhineland. Got a couple of tax summits here. I still think it works out fine. Yeah, so let's continue to do that. Uh, but let's actually look at the infrastructure. I think you're going to be alright. Yeah, we've got more than 20. So building a couple of there isn't, isn't too much of an issue. Right, yeah. Using our capacity is always going to be very, very important. Drop road maintenance there just to be building faster. Yes, they will burn through our money even faster. But we're going to be all right. It's going to be okay. Saxony is joining. Yes, lovely. I like Saxony. Saxony is a huge state. Um, it actually... Where is it? I didn't update here. No, I can't see it. Huh, interesting. Um, are you incorporated? No. We'll need to incorporate you. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Okay, so... Is there anything special about... No, just more infrastructure, which is of course cool. Infrastructure usage is fine for now. Got a couple of good things down here. A lot more barracks. Historically one of the richest states in Germany, and today not so much so due to the... Uh, Communist takeover. Glassworks. I think glass was also a bit short, isn't it? Yeah, 20%. Could be building up a little bit of glass. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Good. We are running a deficit in influence, but I think it's going to solve itself over time. Let's cancel the road maintenance here. Let's drop it down here. Yeah, production is still going very slowly, but going faster, we'd be burning so much money. I don't like the idea of that. Okay, um, how's the diplomatic situation looking? You've got a defensive pact now with two Sicilies. Well, we've got one with Sweden. Would anyone be interested in going doing a little bit more? No. Probably because we don't have the influence to spend. How about... How about Customs Union? You guys are already in our custom Union. We don't have the influence to maintain that. That's because of all of our defensive pacts, isn't it? Yeah, I would have hoped that the defensive pacts incite them to join us immediately. But that does not seem to be the case. There's a peace treaty be between people that we don't care about. I would like to make the Junkers a little bit more happy. Just a little bit. Anything I can do for you? Well, we are enacting the National Guard, so... Making the Junkers happy would give us more influence. That doesn't make really much sense from an historical perspective, but you know what? It's alright. I'm gonna buy that. Ooh! Here's the thing that I don't like about the game. There's a crisis. There's a diplomatic play. The Hamburgian Peasant Revolt. So it's basically asking us whether we want to join Hamburg or the revolt and defend Hamburg. 
it's not really obvious that it does that, except for the fact that sort of the military uh, lens is popping up. I kind of dislike that. Right, uh, we're gonna declare ourselves to be leaning towards Hamburg itself, um, because that is historically, of course, what um, all of the nations, Prussia, Austria and Russia were doing after the Napoleonic Wars to sort of maintain this status quo. Schomburg Lippe, yes, please do join in. And we've got Krupp connection, so that is an event here from trying to enact the law. We could reduce the enactment time, that would be good. It would screw with the Intelligentsia, which hate us already. And that's giving us less prestige. It wouldn't push them towards radicalism though, so let's do it. We're not going to care about the Intelligentsia for now. And we could build more. Okay. Whenever we can build more, we're going to try to do that. Ooh, uh, people want tea, people want transportation. People still want a lot of coal. So, if you guys want coal, we're going to be building up coal in Silesia. We can always do more of that. Yeah, we've got still the road maintenance here and there, but I think we can drop it out of the Rhineland in a second. And transfer it over there. Oh, uh, we have the Bamsner process unlocked. I don't think that is something that we research ourselves, but that means basically we can use another stuff here for our steel mills. Is that something that we'd want to do? So it would be producing more steel at the cost of more iron. Steel, we currently are, have a little bit of a deficit in the market, but not much. And we do have a lot of iron deficit in the market, so it's not something that we want to do for now, but it's certainly something to keep an eye on. Uh, by the way, oh, yeah, we missed our window here. Well, too bad. Uh, so we're not going to be participating in that war, but that's all right. Um, speaking of wars, we do have a little bit of influence left over, so let's look at whether we can get anyone to join our customs union. Hanova would not accept. Alliance. We cannot succeed Weimar. No, they are already in our alliance. That's okay then. Can we change to our customs union? That's also an offer, isn't it? Yeah. And defensive pact? No. Nothing that we could maintain. That's alright. Intelligentsia is trying to preserve no home affairs. They're going to become a little bit more radicalized through that. But yeah, it's something that we just need to keep in mind. What did I do? Uh, yeah, the resource industry there. Deficit is really not too bad. We are having a little bit of a depth now, but that's okay. Field works also unlocked just through passive uh, morphing through to, through to us. That's okay. Confederation with Nassau. Yes, please. We've got Hesse now. Interesting. And every time, that's one of the bad things I dislike about the game, is that it doesn't automatically update things towards the latest stuff over here. So let's do that. It's generally useful, I think, as a developed nation to do that. Sometimes it can be a little bit better for sort of smaller nations and smaller markets to fiddle around with that a little bit more. Oh, you know what? We could use sweeteners because I think we have a grocery deficit. Yeah, 160 deficit. Sugar, is, we have a little bit of a surplus. It tells us that we would use 90 more, but that's a lie, I think, because it might not be a lie. Ah, still, we're going to do it. It means that we are running a deficit of sugar, but that is something that we can fix I think so currently wine is trading at the surplus and if we were to go for this wheat farms you know what mm, you know what let's actually look at the rye farms because they are a little bit more all over the place anyway okay Westphalia you guys do build apple orchards I don't care right that should give us a little bit more sugar Onions production capacity, and I think with a little bit of a slimmer of Prussian Hesse here, we're going to make Hesse our 
textile industry. Because why not? Uh, let's set you up correctly. So we could go with this. We're not going to do that. We are going to use dye workshops and we're going to see whether we have enough dye in a moment. But we're going to be basically using it like that. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Shell gun unlocked. That's good. Uh, we can use smoothbore for the arms industry. So that would give us more artillery at the cost of small, uh, small arms. Can we go for better units, basically? So we are looking at stuff that unlocks for barracks. And I think shrapnel artillery is something that we would love to have. Triage, yes, we would like to take less casualties. But honestly, I think what we truly need is rifling. Yeah, get get our arms industry to be a little bit better. Let's actually check on our arms industry. I think they're in North Rhine. Yes, they are. So you guys could now be producing smooth balls, but small arms we already have a deficit. And artillery, we also have a deficit. Interesting. So that basically means we should be expanding our arms industry a little bit. Especially since we as the state are the primary buyers for that. So any reduction in the sort of surplus there is going to be very useful for us. Uh, we do have a bit capacity here for more diplomatic place. So let's try to use that. Yeah, you guys are not going to join us, um, but any defensive alliances? Come on. I always hate that you can't really find that. Yeah, let's go for Schwarzburg. Why not? They're probably going to join us in a moment, which would be very lovely. Okay, cold stuff is being finished over there. That's good. We are now running a little bit of a surplus, but I think we are not using all of our production capacity. Yes, that is true indeed. So again, back to the market we go and see what deficit we have, and it's still coal. Now that's a little bit misleading because not everyone has been hired here, but you probably know that we need a lot more coal. Um, coal industry is 20 infrastructure, so that would be a little bit too much. So let's actually go down here by one. That should just exactly fulfill the stuff. Discord within the Junkers. We could get a shift between the Junkers and the armed forces. That's no good for us. A little bit less attraction isn't the worst. I kind of dislike it, but it's still okay. Oh, we are still running the road maintenance in Silesia, so that means this number down here is a lie and that means we actually need more railways but that's fine because more railways is going to make our motor industry a little bit more profitable we want to keep these guys around so yeah that's all right let's do drop road maintenance over here and let's check whether we've got it anywhere else no just over there that's fine Good. okay saxony you're being incorporated right yes it's gonna only take seven months is anyone else not incorporated here? Um, probably you. Okay, yeah, let's go. Someone wants to join us? Yes, Saxe Weimar. Mm. Of course, you're welcome. I don't know where you are exactly. But it's good to have you. Low market, market access in Saxony. Oh, yeah, so you were probably in Saxony. That means we're going to be building another railway. Fine, I like railways. Good. Textile mills should also be very useful. How's the market looking? Mm, kind of alright. Textile mills, big, big deficit. Also furniture and glass. So it's kind of everything. We're going to be building these things up slowly over time. And we're going to try to focus our industry in various places at the same time. Uh, not at the same time. We're going to be focusing everyone. So everyone is going to be a little bit of a specialist. Right, Psycho 3 unlocked. Nice. That gives us more influence, which is really good. Um, so let's try to use that for, again, more defensive packs. Valdek, why not? Okay, a lot 
of guys who would not accept. Um, let's go to influence no for a little bit more. Oh, really? We do have that much more. That many more things that we could be influencing here. Um, sure, why not? In that case, let's go for Hesse. Yeah, that's it. Don't have that much more capacity. Right, industrial grade materials. Interesting. So, adds up steel imports? No. Or industrialists would not like us. Um, industrialists at the moment do like us, and I think they give us a bonus to production technology costs. We're not using that actively, but we are using it kind of passively. You know what, let's set it up. It's gonna cost us a little bit of bureaucracy. That's not the worst. We have a lot of money left over. Why do we have that much money? We are using all of our um, manufacturing, oh, sorry, all of our construction capacity, so I think that means we can build more. Right. Let's build more construction here. And as always, we're gonna prioritize that because this, this layout, man. That should give us a nice benefit there. Prussian Hesse is running a deficit here. Uh, let's start by building railways. And by the way, I really, you know, as much as I dislike the UI, I really like the map. I mean, look at this. There's a small little railway down here now. Um, it's not connected up to the next states, but it is there. Rifling unlocked, brilliant. Uh, we're gonna continue our um, trying to pursue better stuff down here. Yes, this goes for barracks. Where's where's better infantry, I wonder? It's not under logistics, it's not down here, it's not under triage. Could do more thing there. Trench infantry is in trench works. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's try to go for shrapnel artillery. Rifles for arms industry. Now that is something that we might want to use, right? So let's go to North Rhine and the arms industry is down here. If we were to change that, we'd be getting more small arms. We have a small surplus. We don't have a surplus of tools, not of iron, and we'd be using even more steel. Speaking of steel, I think it's time we go for this process down here because we are evidently running a deficit. Yeah, it's going to push us further down into using more iron. But that's okay too, because we can build more iron mines. Confederation with Lippe? Yes, I think... I think you guys must be over there, but that's fine. Opposition members put forth demands. Enactment chance, but armed, the armed forces would like us a little bit less. Specifically, that would give us less patriotic fever. Fervor. I think we're still going to do that. It's not nice because we're going to lose this great benefit here. Oh, we're not even doing that. Okay, good, good, I like it. How are things looking? Prussian Hesse, yeah, we are building up the railway over there, aren't we? Yes, we are. Good, Saxony, we are also doing that. Expensive government goods, iron, yes, we are trying to fix that by building up more mines. But we have a, a big, big queue here waiting. Uh, for stuff to be constructed. We have small reserves, but we are running a deficit, so we are sitting at more or less zero here. But that's all right. Brandenburg, yes. What? Wait a minute, Brandenburg? We are Brandenburg. That okay. Wait, by the way, how is the motor industry looking? Yeah, I think demand is picking up as we are building up these railways, uh, but ever so slowly, so that's all right. So we are running into our first little bit of uh, true industrialization here. First railway lines are being picked up even, even to level two here. But for now it's still slow going, especially our money. I think we will need to think a little bit about whether we want to increase the budget even further here. We could go to very high taxation. That would mean a lot more radicals. I don't think that's necessarily that big of an issue. Only the intelligentsia here are, are really unhappy for the moment. 
So we could be doing that and start to build up a little bit faster. I think we're going to do that. Uh, that being said, I'm going to check uh, a couple of things here in between episodes. And I hope to see you guys around next time. Do like, do share, do comment, all of that. And I see you around. Bye-bye, guys.